Now, uh, we, we, we don't really, really want to say a lot about this, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Okwizi, uh because uh, I think he's in a different category. He's in a, di a, a bit of a different category, and we put him last because I think he's probably the last guy on the totem pole. He seemed to be basically blue-collar. He seemed to be basically blue-collar, and uh, for some reason, uh, he feel that he need to uh, it, assault, insult, degrade, demine, diminish uh, the black the black woman for 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 some reason, and it seemed to be some kind of personal reason. Uh, he seemed to have. I mean, we all <laughs> we all have problems with our women folks. Some of, some of us have uh, more of a problem, and some of us have less of a problem. But for some reason, we all have, you know, we all have a bit of a problem. Now, if you look at uh, my, my piece, Black Women 1, Black Women 2, we kind of show the, 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 the dynamics of, of uh, women, Black women, and we get it some more into their personality. We got the calendar and we can plot on the calendar to some degree and we started out in a, in a rough way uh, her good days and bad days so it's it runs a month so 28 days from from 1 to 15 she's in a good mood and from 15 to 20, the 28th day then she's in a bad mood and so once we know this we can do some stuff and we can work with these women. Although YouTube is telling me this is not the problem. It's not just the little personality. It's deeper stuff. The black woman is not, it's not just uh, biology. It's not just where well, she's having cramps and she just have a bad day and this and that and this. Uh, there are deeper problems, of course. This woman and, 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 and us men, you know, We've been in slavery, we've been tortured and had a torturous situation for a long period of time. And it looked like it stopped maybe 200 years ago, but it don't. The scars are carried forward. You're impregnated with some kind of virus, a mental virus, and it moves through the, uh, it moves through the decades. But, of course... There's no, that's no necessary reason to be uh, rude and crude and uh, vicious and violent. Now, I've seen, like, a lot of, like, well, like Mr. Akizi, has probably seen, uh, 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 and he can give probably more direct testimony that, you know, he's seen uh, black women that's, you know, that's, a bit beyond what they should be doing. And, uh, you know, violent behaviors and this and that unladylike and all this, and, and, and maybe to some extreme. Uh, but this is what we want to do in all these cases. Whether it's real, whether these women are bad, or, you know, or off, off their rocker, you know, they falling off the truck, or maybe we are making up some stuff or not. This is the problem. The problem is, and the answer. Let's give an answer. The problem and the answer. Mr. Queasy, the problem and the answer is that we, the only people we have, the only women we have is our black women. Now, of course, one or two of us go and grab a white woman over here, or grab a, a, a Puerto Rican or Oriental, this, that, and the other, and all that, you know. Uh, but our primary women are our black women. We have to find a way to work these problems out. They gave us some lemons, and we are no better. We are no better, and you pointed that out, and some of these other guys have pointed that out. 
We are no better, but we can't solve the problem by kicking on these women. They are they are, they, are, they have they are having or they have or they are living with some psychological problems, sociological problems, so social psychological problems that's brought on by pressure and pressure and pressure and pressure. You know, uh, they're being squeezed and kicked and tortured and, and they don't know where to go. And just like the black guys, guys that sag their pants and the, the rap music, and you see it, they are stressed out. They are stressed out and we cannot reach these people by becoming more violent. Everybody else is kicking them, so what are we going to do? We're going to kick them. You know, we're going to, we are so upset, and I know you guys are upset. We are so upset, and we don't know what to do, so we're just going to, we're just going to, we, we, everybody else beat them down, so we're going to beat them down. But like my teachers told me, like my professor told me, like my high school professor told me, if you don't take care of of your women, then who will? If you attack verbally or physically, attack your women, then wh what will the other guy do? If you call your women all kind of dirty names and filth and all this, then what are they gonna do? But by the opposite, if you hold them up, maybe not, may, may, maybe not to any extreme. You don't, you don't have to get in their queens and all this stuff. But if you, well, <laughs> I think Otis Redding, Otis Redding said it. Where women get weary. Young women get weary wearing that same old shaggy dress. It's in the music. And when they get weary, try a little tenderness. Old school. Try a little softness. If you come calm down, they'll calm down. If you're cool, they're cool, or they should, they'll... But this this uh, this violence is you can look all through history, you know. And, and I said this before, uh, you know. We we we're saying, but well, these people they, they wear all this old skimpy stuff and this and that, and, and this ain't ladylike, and they wear all these old nasty stuff and they this and that and this. Look back through history. Go get your picture book. Back through the Renaissance, old Greek pictures, and you will see that the women are wearing little scantly stuff. You will see if you go get a uh, Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo or any of those guys, you know, a lot of that stuff, nude stuff. It's always been here. It's not going anywhere. You know, but we are ratcheting it up. We are ratcheting it up by heaping more violence, more vulgarism, you know, onto the problem. Now, like I said about uh, uh, Tommy Sotomayor, you're doing okay. You're making your money. Keep on making your money. You're making your money on YouTube or whatever. Keep on making your money. You got your other little job, this, that, and the other, whatever. Hell, we are all blue collar out here. We are all blue collar out here and brown collar. And some of us are white collar. But let's not kick the other guy. Let's not kick the women. You know, they gave us lemons, let's make some lemonade. I gotta go, but I'm coming right back. And we're gonna get on with this.